uh, Emmanuel here and uh, I have questions now on uh, road traffic, right? Um, Nairobi is not unique in, in, in its traffic congestion uh, problems, right? Many major cities across the world, from Tokyo to London to, to New York, Houston have encountered this problem, right? Now, Houston and Los Angeles offer just two examples of where policymakers have decided that, oh, maybe the solution would be we'll just add more driving lanes, right, to um, the, the roads that, that, that traverse the cities, right? But what has happened is that every lane that's added right now, this is very, you know, I'm exploring this. Um, asking a question very exploratory right but what we can see is that you keep adding lanes over the decades but the traffic keeps piling up well if I put on my incentives hat right and look at this problem again what I might say is okay what would changing the incentive structure for road usage do right if you priced road usage, say by time slots. If you're driving through a road uh, rush hour, you've got to pay more to use that road, right? Um, and then you give a cheaper alternative. So maybe uh, public transportation remains the same, you know, if, if 10 or, 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 or carpooling is cheaper than, you know, using driving a car alone. Well, if I think through the the outcome, you know, through the lens of incentives i would my guess would be that you could actually start to manage traffic now of course you bump into all the political uh and political economy issues maybe they explain why um this problem has not generally at least to my knowledge been solved this way because maybe people want to maintain a certain uh, way of life you know i want to keep driving the way i usually do at whatever time i want and i don't want to be charged but to at least this one problem you could counter and say look you already pay taxes for road uh for 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 the provision of public transportation public uh transport infrastructure right and to add to that you know um we find in many instances where people will pay uh for private roads when and where they're available if you're talking about ontario you might have the 401 uh, or you know the 407 alternative or if you're talking about nairobi the uh the the expressway that goes through westlands all the way down to um Lelongo. if you're talking about um and there's numerous examples right where private road people will pay right to to use a a, a road that is less traffic just so they can get to places faster i have questions <laughs>